Hey guys, so a little warning about the Xiaomi Mi Air 2 SE headphones. Now recently I had tried using the Xiao AI app to update these headphones and I was unable to. It started the update process and then stopped. I forgot that I had attempted to do this process. I went ahead and tried to sell these headphones. Lo and behold, these headphones are miraculously broken. Unable to do anything whatsoever. You connect them to the device and they have a difficult time connecting and then they disconnect. I couldn't get these working and thus I had to buy these back from the original seller. And I was really, really frustrated about this because I had a pair of perfectly working headphones. I barely use these headphones uh, in the real world at all. But now all of a sudden they were broken. So I went on a journey to try and find them. I looked on Reddit, I looked at a variety of things. And then finally I decided to go ahead and try updating them with the Xiao AI app. Hold on, it seems like the screen's a little, there we go. And I tried updating them with the Xiao AI Lite app and that worked perfectly. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix uh, the, the issue that I was experiencing. I'm, I don't know how to describe it, but how to fix these just not working after a failed update with Xiao AI normal. So you're going to want to go to APK mirror. I'll have a link for this in the description down below. And guys, I'm still not showing my face because I have chicken pox and I look absolutely terrible, but you're going to download this APK, install the APK. Uh, I'll go ahead and cut to that footage now. Now, once that's done, go ahead and make sure your headphones are unpaired from your device. Make sure you have Xiao AI, uh, AI Lite <laughs> installed, uh, but go ahead, open up your Mi Air 2 SE, Mi Air 2 basic headphones, and they should automatically pair. Okay, there. Once your headphones have connected and paired with the device. Now, if you're enjoying this tutorial, a subscribe would be massively appreciated. And if you're on Discord, I have a link to where my Discord server is on my Twitter and information for all that in the description down below. You will be prompted into this settings menu for the Mi Air 2 SE headphones. Now, you're not gonna see this on my phone because I've updated them already, but here, you will see a thing for the uh, firmware version number. Now, if you have an update for these headphones, go ahead and update it within this app. Make sure your headphones are charged before you attempt to do this. I did it, and unlike the, the Xiao AI, normal Xiao AI app, Xiao AI Lite updated these headphones totally fine. And now these headphones work as they are intended to, and I will go ahead and sell them. It's details like this, which in my opinion, make these headphones absolutely terrible. Um, it's not even necessarily the fact that the controls suck, which the controls do suck, and they're worse than the Soundpeats Me True Air, and I'm gonna have a video comparing them uh, coming up, subscribe for that. It's not just that they're worse than the Transmart Onyx Ace, video comparing those two headphones up here, it's that Overall, as a as a experience, Xiaomi just neglects their market outside of China. They give us a pair of headphones in China, which have a lot more software functionality, which make them a much closer competitor to Apple's AirPods. Outside of China, there's none of that effort for these because it seems like with the amount of features and the, the amount of software things on the Chinese side of things that they have for these headphones, it makes these headphones a much closer user experience to that of Apple AirPods in regards to software stuff, apparently. That said, without that, with just these headphones, basically, there's nothing that makes them better than any other pair of headphones. There's no special codec like there is with the Mi Air 2 Pro, which those headphones I thought were okay, but 
they are just mediocre overall and i have seen these varying in price from anywhere between like thirty dollars up to fifty dollars if you can find them for less money than thirty dollars I still wouldn't buy them as in most cases, the Transmart Onyx Ace is gonna be cheaper and those offer APTX and just a better overall user experience. If you wanna spend a little bit more money, then stay tuned for my upcoming video comparing these to the True Air 2 from Soundpeats. The True Air 2 from Soundpeats really do have amazing sound quality and really do blow these out of the park, especially in regards to watching videos because they have APTX codec. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial about how to fix these headphones or how to at least update them, then go ahead and smash the subscribe button. And if you guys are on Discord, go ahead and check out my Discord server. Link to that is on Twitter. Peace.